Hello, it's Technology Central here, and welcome to this Google Sheets formulas tutorial on how to use the count and countif functions. The count function is used to find out how many cells in a given range contain any data. The countif function is used to find how many cells meet a certain criteria in a given range of data. In this tutorial, we will show you an example of using both the count and the count if functions. Let's get started with that first example of using the count function. Here we see a number of people in our sales team and a series of sales figures for the first five months of the year. If they didn't make any sales in a given month, each cell will be blank. What we want to do is find how many months that person made a sale. To do that, we can use the count function. We start by typing equals count, then opening a bracket. We now select our range of data or a series of values. What this will do is it will tell us how many of the cells within that range of data or series of values contain a value. So what we're going to do is select this range here. And finally, close our brackets and press enter. And we can see it's returned two because these two cells contain values and the rest are empty. You can also do this by selecting each of the values individually. You can do that by typing equals count, but this time, rather than just selecting the whole row, we'll select the first value, put a comma, select the second value, etc. You wouldn't normally do it like this. However, if your data was spread out, then you might want to use this method instead of selecting the range. Finally, when you selected all of the values that you want to include in your count function, close the brackets and press enter. We can see this has returned the value of four because four of these five cells contain data. We can drag this function down by coming to this small blue box on the right hand side, clicking, holding our mouse down and dragging it to the bottom. And we can see that we've now found how many months each of these salespeople made a sale. Now let's look at a very similar example, but using the count if function. In this example, we've now filled in all of the blank cells and put zero pounds in there. If we put in the normal count function, it would now return five. What we're going to do instead is use the count if function to find every month where their sales was more than zero pounds, which is the same as every month they made a sale. We start by typing equals count if, then we select our range of data where we want to apply our criteria. This is our range here. Put a comma, and now we specify our criteria. Our criteria must be a string, so we start by putting a speech mark. We want the value to be greater than zero, so you use the greater than operator, followed by the number zero. Close our speech marks, and then close our brackets. For a more in-depth analysis of all of the operators you can use while creating these logical statements, see our tutorial on the if, and, and or functions. Now, when we press enter, we can see we get the value two because these two cells contain data. Again, we can drag this down and we'll see that we have the same result as we did above. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have, leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Also, go and check out our tutorial on the 10 functions we think you should know if you're working with Google Sheets. We've also got several other tutorials on our channel, including how to use Google Slides. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.